Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. Now this will be for um, June 2023. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. And if you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget though, it's a general reading. It is not going to suit everyone. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid energy can be vice versa so keep that in mind okay Aquarius okay so something you've been through um, <coughs> it wasn't destined I mean everyone's got free will right and um, I want to say that you've been you've been in a in a place where everyone from the outside would think everything's fine, like it's like a facade. You know, you've got kids, you've got this family unit. You know, everyone thinks that this is um, you know happy families, and you're just completely happy. And I don't feel like that's true. I feel like it's a facade. And somebody chose, free will chose to do something. It made, it left you heartbroken. It left you insecure. It left you questioning your self-worth. Um, but this is entirely free will. This is not like this is destined this wasn't destined to teach you anything or to come into your life for a reason. This was their free will. Um, this could have involved other people as well. I want to say also some sort of addiction. Um, you've also got new beginnings. So... It's like had to, having to put the past in the past. Um, I'm not sure whether you have completely done that, though. Um, I feel like you still need to want to protect your family, protect your home, protect your heart, you know, um, but I do feel like you're trying. You're trying to have this new beginning. Um, I want to say there's gossip around you as well. Um, and, you know, you might need to forgive. You Maybe you haven't done that yet. Um, a bit to be worked on. Tell me more. You're definitely focusing on healing and that's needed to happen um, because you've been hurt and because you're focusing on your self-worth. You definitely needed to do that healing. I don't think you actually left and moved on. Like I feel like. This is a situation where um, you're possibly still there. Because they're not, it's not like they're missing you. It's not like they're away from you. But this has definitely um, affected some sort of partnership, commitment, union something like that yeah not wanting to end it not wanting to transition um it's made you question their values um hmm. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, moon. You've got moon in reverse. So I feel like you didn't trust your intuition when it came to this. It was... Um, <laughs> yeah, look, you've got devil in reverse. You've got the beware card in reverse. And you've got proposal and unity in reverse. And I'm I'm telling you this because not every card is in reverse. Look, you've got chariot upright, mountain upright, luck upright, flowers upright. Everything is upright except for these cards. Um, so, yeah, you, I just, my feeling is you, you were committed. You were trustworthy, like tr you trusted this person. You know, you were married or in some sort of high level of commitment. I don't know if you're not sleeping very well or you're just really tired. I feel really drained. I feel really tired myself. But, yeah, the devil in the reverse. Like this... This has definitely affected you, but this, I mean, you probably didn't know this person had addictions or you didn't see again that this was happening. With the moon card, I just feel like there was things that were very hidden. They weren't, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. I think you, you had thought this person wasn't like this, whatever that is exactly. Um, for some of you, I don't feel like this is the first time. I feel like this has happened before. Um, You've got lighthouse on the bottom. Don't doubt your worth. Exactly what I said before. Um, you've got bitch fire, stand up for yourself. And lioness, you've earned all your stripes. You've been through, as I said, rough times. You've been through a lot. But now you need to stand up for you. You need to go, look, I'm not willing to tolerate that. And if you're not, you need to leave the past in the past. You need to, you know, and if they do it again, then you're out. Or just let them go, move on. You know, it's best for everyone maybe that you're not together and then you can focus on something new instead of hurting each other. Um, whatever it is you want, though, I feel like you need to definitely stand up for yourself um you know work on healing your your thoughts about yourself you've got to stop playing this victim because if you're choosing to be there that's it is what it is but there needs to be some sort of compromise um there needs to be you know and even like a if this happens again i'm out because i feel like this this happens this conversation happens and then you don't release you don't walk away when this person does it again. It's like you're showing them, well, you know, I'm not going anywhere. Um, yeah, you're not wanting to purge because you see this person as being your person. So it's like you hang on to them. But, you know, this person's in this whole place of regret. Uh, maybe you're in this place of regret. But I feel like whatever this is, it's just... It doesn't, to me, feel like a really um, positive place. But that's because you need to stand up for yourself. You need to know what you deserve and you need to know what you're willing to accept and, you know, grow and evolve and heal, you, heal yourself. Tell me more about Aquarius.
Yeah, I don't feel like you have any hope when it comes to this. I feel like you're just waiting for the next time. You're waiting for the next time for this to end or for them to let you down again or for them to hurt you again. Um, you gave them a second chance. I just feel like this is not your divine masculine. Um, yeah, there's differences, there's clashing, there's conflict, there's incompatibility. Um, maybe even distance and it doesn't even mean distance you might live in the same house but that did be distant from each other um i feel like there was some sort of lack of commitment when it came to you guys but someone's holding on it's like clinging someone's holding on maybe because they're codependent but somebody is definitely i mean obsessing about what happened but holding on but you know you're aware um you have a negative mindset that oh you know this has happened it's going to happen again but you're at this breaking point like one more time and i'm out like mm, somebody really needs to really think about what this is worth to them how important is this to them um you need to do some healing but whatever someone was doing it was like they were lusting over someone else they could have been um, something that was forbidden, you know, maybe they're non-committal, they're maybe a bit bored in life and they wanted something else, I don't know. But I just feel like it's got that whole sexual energy to it. Um, hmm. All right, last deck and then we'll do some tarot. Tell me more for Aquarius. Somebody's sick and tired of running. Someone's sick and tired of that. It's like the runner and the chaser. Oh, my God. This is like divine counterpart and they're both in reverse. And I feel like this isn't even that. I feel like this is not like this is the runner and the chaser. I feel like this is more, once again, this isn't destined. I feel like this is, there's something that comes between you guys and it's some sort of seduction or something to do with the opposite sex. It's about third parties, you know, teasing, lusting, you know, over the other sex. Um, all right, let's see if we can get some tarot. I feel like one person's got this like fear of abandonment the other person's got this fear of I don't know intimacy or something um tell me more about Aquarius what is going on oh look at that twin flames and that's exactly what I just said a minute ago um yeah look not wanting a new beginning um see each other as bringing you know you bring each other your wishes um you can have success if someone makes changes and you're both determined so i mean this can work it's just up to your both of your actions and yeah all right, so the first card we've got is the Twin Flame card. Two of Cups, Twin Flames, Divine Counterpart, you know, all that sort of thing. Tell me about that for Aquarius. I mean, the fact that you've got the runner and the chaser here <laughs> exactly is, is that. Um, yeah, it's Twin Flames. So tell me about the Two of Cups for Aquarius for June. 
God, way too many. Four of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's definitely um, disappointed. Um, I feel like, you know, you, you see yourself as being, um, you know, dependable and generous and warm-hearted and or you see your person, whoever, you see them as somebody that you can depend upon and is supportive and loyal and re and reliable and all those things but at the same time I feel like that disappointed you because of a third party but it's saying that you see each other as your this is your twin flame this is your person But some of you, somebody feels very exhausted. They're just like, I've had enough. I can't do this anymore. I'm sick and tired of fighting. I'm sick and tired of, you know, feeling this way and having this done to me and I don't know, whatever, right? It's like you're at your breaking point, like I said. You're, you're emotionally hurt. You're feeling let down by this person. You saw this person as your everything, right? You saw this person as, as I said, your twin flame. You saw them as the person that's going to give you the stability as well as the stable, happy family life. Um, yet they, it was like they were giving to other people. You were giving to them and they're giving to others instead of giving back to you. Um, that's how you see it. And this is why you're so emotionally hurt. So you've got a decision to make. You definitely have, oh my God, another Divine Counterpart card. Look, you've got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So you see each other as a Divine Counterpart, but for some reason it's like do we, somebody needs to decide, do they want to be single and get out and hang out with friends and meet other people and, you know, do all these things, or do they want their Divine Counterpart? You know? The choice is yours or the choice is theirs, whatever this is. But it's like you are meant to be. So if this is your person, I mean, you've got divine counterparts, you've got divine counterparts and you've got divine counterparts. Like you couldn't have any more divine counterparts if you tried. Oh, and you've got the soulmate card over here. Like you guys feel like you're meant to be. You feel like you're giving each other, fulfilling each other's, you know, dreams Someone's just got, you know, a wandering eye, um, which is what causes the problems. And then you've got the Empress. I feel like this definitely is, you have a family with this person. Um, But you're very dependent on other people and I feel like as hard as it is, I want to say I don't feel like you should put your kids, like, yeah, you got to put your kids first, right? I get that. But I'm saying you've got to do what makes you happy. And I feel like you both need to really think about what's important and if you both want to put yourselves, you see each other as each other's person, then do something to make it work. If you want to put your kids first and you're together just for the kids, I don't know if that's such a good option. But I do feel like you need to nurture what's important here. You keep getting threes. I feel like you guys don't really communicate all that well because you've both got swords right there. Um, I feel like there is emotions. I feel like there's intimacy. I feel like this is all about a relationship. 
Um, you do have some pentacles, so there's some sort of stability. Um, but you've got the two and three of swords both in reverse. So maybe it's like you're indecisive, you don't know what to do, you don't know if you should release or not, or, you know, just release the pain and whether you can forgive because I feel like, you know, you have had your heart broken, but you're sort of moving on and letting that go. Um, yeah. I want to say this was just, this just a distraction and I feel like, You guys can make this work. It's your decision. Tell me what the outcome is. Six of Cups, Reunion, and the Emperor. Yeah. Like, somebody really needs to stand up, be a, I want to say, I just heard be a man, but it's not, like, based on the sexual, what we are, men, women, whatever. I just feel like now's the time to stand up. It's like, if this is what you want, then stop the shit behaviour, right? If, if it's, if you know that this is your priority and this is where you want to be and this is your wishes coming true and you have a family with this person and all of that, like, you've got to kind of make your family a priority, the priority. Nothing else is, should be important. All right. Well, that is what I have. I mean, you've got every Divine Counterpart card here pretty much. So um, that pretty much says it all, really. You've just got to stop with the, like, I feel like this needs to be over. You know, if you are each other's counterpart, then stop the chasing and the running. I feel like you need to just, like, now work on fixing what you've done, what they've done, let it go, have a new beginning, move on. And um, work on the communication, work on your relationship. All right, that is what I have. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you with the next read. Bye.